Liar, liar, pants on fire. From the time I was a little kid up till about the age of 12, I got spanked. I got beat whenever I told lies. Whenever I told a lie or told many lies, I got beat. Usually with a paint stick. Um, but as a later teenager, I was encouraged to lie. I felt at some point in my at some points in my life that society had flat out lied to me. I encouraged myself to lie at points as a teenager. I lied to myself. I lied to my parents because I thought that they might kick me out. I accused my sibling of lying to my parents in order to get me kicked out. I was later at one point told by my parents to lie to the rest of my family. Lying. It goes against the Ten Commandments to lie. But then again, at some points, it does work to a positive to lie. Now, I am not talking about if you had Jews in your attic and Nazis came knocking on your door type lies. I'm talking about what many gay people, including myself, felt like when they were in the closet. Or even when they're not in a even in certain situations where it might not be the most positive thing to be as open as you want to be with the rest of the world. A lot of people feel like they're living a lie when they're pretending to be something that they're not. Me, whenever I have to go back into the closet or whenever I feel pressured to, there's really no, not that's a, that's a strange one which we can which I will talk about in a different video. But when I feel pressured to go back into the closet, I feel like I'm being pressured to lie. And growing up, I grew up in the cornfield. I was told boys date girls and girls date boys and boys and boys engage in relations with girls and girls engage in relations with boys and there's nothing else. and that there's no alternatives. And, you know, I questioned my sexual orientation as early as junior high, but at that point, I thought I liked boys. Now, did I really like boys? No. But it was because I fed, I fed into, and I had been taught what was a lie. I was taught that there was only one sexual orientation that was heterosexual. I was not taught that there is diversity, and as long as as a couple is made of two consenting adults, then that then that's the important thing. No, I was told that a couple is one man and one woman, a key and a lock. Um, and you know what? It sucked. It sucked. I hated lying, especially when I got to my senior year of high school, and my senior year of high school especially in the last six months of it, I got to a point where I didn't care anymore. If people wanted, I wasn't going to say either way if I was gay or not, but I wasn't going to say, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just not going to say anything. And I mark my coming out day as the day after I graduated high school. The day after I graduated high school, I was no longer going to lie. I was no longer to let people perceive what they wanted to perceive. I was going to be open. I was going to be honest. When I was 16, though, and my brother attempted to out me, I lied my little face off. Because I feared, I flat out feared that my parents would kick me out. So I lied and said that I was a heterosexual and that my brother was lying. Um. Thankfully, which, I mean, it sucked that I had to do that. My parents did believe my lie. Though I think that my mom did suspect that I was lying. It's sad. And, you know, in a way it's wrong. Actually, it's very wrong. That people feel like they have to lie. About who they are. That they have a husband or a wife at home, rather than having a husband or a wife at home. Or that they want to have a husband or a wife rather than having a husband or a wife. 
or that they're open to either having a husband or a wife or that they want to be the wife or the husband or all those multitudes of combinations of diversity within our society I think it's wrong and I think that's gotten a lot better that in a multitude of areas you don't have to lie Hell, in a lot of companies, you don't have to lie either, uh, as far as employment goes. <sighs> Lying. It's a complicated issue. I will admit that there was a summer I was working at a nursing home as a cook, and I didn't necessarily lie when I talked about my significant other. But I didn't mention her gender. Whenever I would talk about my significant other, I would say my sweetheart. And I would tell my residents, the people that I cooked for, that, oh, my sweetheart and I did this. My sweetheart and I went on a picnic. My sweetheart and I went to the movies. I wasn't actually saying my significant other's gender or their sex, their sex or their gender, um, but I wasn't... I wasn't lying, but I was sidestepping the issue. Because did I think that it would have been a negative thing? No, not per se. But they were they were the elderly generation. They were the World War II generation mostly of the people who I was taking care of. So, you know what, they were there to either rest out their days or to get better, um, just because of the facility that I worked in. But that wasn't necessarily lying, but it wasn't necessarily telling the truth. I guess that's one of those complicated things that people in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community face. When do you be totally open? When can you be open? When is it better to kind of sidestep the issue? When is it better to... When is it better to try to avoid the issue? It's something that we face. Especially when I had just come out, I felt like society had lied to me, as I noted earlier, in telling me that there was only one sexual orientation, only one way to be. And I think that that's probably part of the reason why it took me a while to figure out that I was completely not a heterosexual. I mean, there was a time where I thought I was bisexual, and I thought that guys were... and I thought that I had potential to have a male partner. But... As I worked through a lot of those lies, or what I perceived to be lies, that society had told me, I came to understandings that, you know what, I had, I don't really have a desire to be with a male. Um, because I think that when I was still working through things, I still thought that there was potential. But the thing is, is that I never got those sparkly, wonderful th feelings that are associated with kissing somebody and it just being wonderful, that wonderful sparkly moment. Um, I, when I was still trying to figure out my sexual orientation completely, I thought that I had potential for that. That maybe I had not met the right person. But, as it turns out, I'm not interested in guys. And it took at least a year beyond being comfortable with at least saying that I was half gay, or, which I realize that's not the proper way to describe bisexuality. Bisexuality has, bisexuality is a rainbow itself. Um, I, it took me a while after I realized that I was not completely heterosexual to realize I was not a heterosexual at all. And again, I think that because I've been lied to for so long, that it took me that amount of time to work through all through all those lies, lies, if you will. Um, I think it's sad that people grow up in societies that are not open to diversity, and I think that the more diversity in individuals open is shown, the better that they might be. I think that if I had been exposed to more diversity and told that, you know what. Jill and Jane are a couple, and Jill and Jane are just as beautiful 
and just as wonderful of a relationship as Jill and John. I think that I would have not had so many of the problems that I went through. I don't think I would nearly have, I don't think I would nearly be close to all the depression that I've gone through over the years. Do I think that society intended to lie to me? No. I think that that was just the culture of the area. I might view it as a lie because they didn't tell me that there was any alternative. But then again, that was the cultural norm. If you live in an area where nobody goes to the moon and you never heard that people have gone to the moon, did society lie to you and tell you telling you that, no, people can't go to the moon? No. The information was just not there. It's a complicated issue. And especially being in a world where it's sometimes not safe to be open about who you are. Or you might lose a job. Or you might face very negative consequences for being open. It's wrong. And it sucks. But that's kind of the situation that a lot of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people live in. Do you be a liar? Do you tell a half-truth? Do you sidestep the issue? Or do you be completely open? It's a difficult thing. And that feeling of lying to people, it sucks. Because it's only like, okay, you know what? I really want to be open with you, I really want to be honest with you, but I can't in some situations. Which is honestly does tie into a little bit of don't ask, don't tell, because a lot of soldiers felt that way. They couldn't be completely honest with their units or with their groups or with their colleagues. It's a complicated issue. I don't really know how to end this video. So I'll leave you with just these things to think about. Lying when it comes to sexual orientation. It's a complicated issue. It sucks that people have to lie. And in countries where it's illegal to be gay, A, it sucks even more. It's not fair. It's not right. But you know what? In a lot of parts of the world, it's going to be a better place. We don't have to lie as much. So hopefully that will continue to roll on. And peace out.